Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will talk about how we can test our ADF pipeline. Okay, and we will also talk about our test cases, like what all test case needs to be written to test an pipeline. Okay, but before that, we need to understand the building blocks or the core components of any ADF pipelines, okay, which generally developers create. So, the component will involve the first thing as your data, okay, and this data in a normal terminology will be called your data set in pipelines. So, this is your normal terminology and this is the pipeline terminology I am talking about, okay. So in pipeline, you must be hearing data sets, okay. This can be your source data set or your target data sets, okay. Now, the second core component is your data flow. It means in, in ADF world, we call these as transformations or in ETL world, I can say, okay. But in ADF, we generally call it data flow. So data flow means the operations on the data, okay. So if I have to write it here, I should better write operations. Operations or functions on data, okay. These are known as your data flow or transformations, okay. I'll keep it here. My bad. Sorry. Okay. In ADF world, we call it as data flow, but they are actually the transformations, like what all operations we are performing on the data. Now, the third component will be your will be your connections. See. You might be reading the data from files, you might be reading the data from the different data sources like Oracle or SQL or whatever it is, right? So you need to connect to those applications, right? So this is called connections basically, okay? And in ADF world, we call it as linked service. Okay, now the fourth component is is basically triggers. So, my bad again. The trigger terminology is a ADF terminology, okay? But you can think of scheduling your scheduling your job. So, basically, you can think of as a as a job which will be executed based on the scheduled time, okay? Now, the fifth thing is, we have data, operation, connection, job. The fifth thing will be your results, okay? Now, when I say results, it's the output of your pipeline, like success, failure, cancel, right? Those kind of outputs you will see the status you can say. It will also include logging and result or output. You have to check. And there is one more and one very important concept known as metadata. Okay. So, it's a terminology of ADF or ETL, but here you can think of as uh, driving data basically. So the data which is driving your pipeline or you can say reusable components. To make your pipeline reusable, right? Okay. You want to drive your pipeline with the metadata okay or with the driving data which might which you might be stored 
into a JSON file or you have stored into a database itself, right? So these are the six building blocks which you should know to run your pipeline or to test your pipeline. So I think these are clear. Once again, data sets, data flow, linked services, trigger, output and status which includes logging as well and then metadata which you need to check. Now let's proceed further. Okay, what we need to test in what component? Okay, so we'll go one by one. We'll start from the bottom. Let's talk about first metadata. Okay, metadata. So let's suppose this is your pipeline, right? Which you have created. What this pipeline does is it's copy the data from your source location to your target location okay now you have multiple type of uh, data sources available right and what you have to do for all these data sources is to copy the data from one location to another location so let's say you have 10 different sources and you need to dump this data from 10 different sources to 10 different target tables so will you be creating multiple pipelines no obviously no right so what you will do you will store the information of those source and target destinations or the or the values into a db into a database okay and while creating a pipeline you will add one activity let's say get metadata or something which will tell this pipeline which will tell this copy activity that for this feed use this source and this target okay so copy so the data to copy from source and to target this values will be parameterized based on the data stored in your db right and this type of data is known as metadata data about data right that is called metadata so now we wanted to copy our data from source to target based on some metadata right i will not be going and, and creating 10 different pipelines to copy the data from 10 different source to 10 different targets. I will create a single pipeline, but I will drive this pipeline based on the metadata. Okay. Then, so this is what metadata is talking about. Now you can parameterize anything, even your linked service, right? Because the target and source will be changed. So this metadata needs to be correct. And that's what you have to test, first of all. That if you provide any wrong information then this pipeline should fail right or if you provide any 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 correct information obviously the pipeline should succeed it should throw an error if the metadata is not available into the db okay so i'm not writing these test cases but i'm verbally talking about these test cases okay in the next video maybe i can write these test cases and give it to you but as on a high level, my, my agenda is to give you an idea, right? How you can test the EDF. Okay. Now, let's talk about the next terminology. What is called output and status. And when I say status, I also keep on focusing. Okay. Keep on focusing on logging part, right? So, when I say status, also include logging. Now, I said that you fetch this data from the DP and then based on this data, you start copying the uh, file from source to target, okay? But what if your data is incorrect? How user will know? It will simply fail the pipeline. So status wise, you will see a failure. But how user will know? The issue is not in the pipeline, but the data itself, the metadata itself. So there should be proper logging mechanism, right? That if there is a failure, this error message should log or this is the reason for the failure. You need to check the logging as well as the error message, which talk about the failure, which talk about the success, 
which talk about the number of file copied from source to target which talk about the number of record right that is also known as auditing you want to maintain auditing as well in the status that auditing includes number of files number of records and even the time right how much time it took to copy in uh, from source to target right so this kind of auditing you can maintain okay so this you also need to test now let's move forward to the third piece the triggers so in a simple terminology i told you that these are all scheduled jobs right so obviously you will check for your pipelines the 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 trigger is scheduled right the trigger is created you need to check what on what time this trigger is being invoked if the time mentioned into the trigger is correct or not because you are the gatekeeper of the quality right so you need to check if the time which they mention into this uh, trigger is correct or not right and the third thing is for sure the naming convention and one more thing you should check what if the trigger time for all the 10 different pipelines are on the same time how it is actually resulting in the performance okay these kind of scenarios you need to test right so let's move ahead with the next point that is linked service and I told you linked service is nothing but the connections which you create between source to target so what to test here you have to test that when this linked service is created it is properly parameterized okay and when I say parameterized it means the ID and passwords should not be a part of linked service, but it should be actually driven by the metadata itself. Okay, and then you need to check if you are changing any of these values, it should result in a failure with proper logging. So this kind of test you need to perform on the linked services. Okay. I hope it is clear here. but make sure your link service is parameterized when I say parameterized it means again it is driven by the metadata you should not see any hard-coded values if it is there raise a bug right because it's a problem right you're you're sharing the ID and password inside the code right so it should not be there let's ahead to the next process next part, which is known as data flow in some pipelines you will see that you are invoking a data flow now what is data flow so data flows are the operations which you perform on the data right like let's say you are doing some group by you are doing joins you are doing some select operation you are inferring the schema there are multiple operations you will see in the pipeline inside the data flow okay so you need to test you, you just don't need to test that if they are working fine or not but because this this functionality is given by EDF itself people do this mistake they started testing these things right why you need to test it this is being already tested by EDF this is the feature given by the EDF itself so don't test these now you have to test based on the business requirement right are these operation making sense or not are we really needed this data does business really looking for this data the output data from these operations right you need to check that part but I have seen people running behind testing these operations that doesn't make any sense right this is the function that ADF has given they have tested out right so the software itself is being tested so you are not going to test ADF but you are going to test your process flow so 
always remember to test the business logic on top of it and see if after performing these operations are you getting the desired result or not you can create your dummy file you can insert it into the pipeline okay and you can try to process it based on the business requirement it should give you the desired result that's how you should approach it okay so that's let this is this is what we talk about the data flow now and the last but not the least data sets right so in data sets we need again the common testing which is known as your parameterizing right as i said if you have 10 different data sets you will not gonna uh, hard code and create 10 different pipelines the data set should be properly parameterized okay and then the naming convention should be proper for any of these activities and then the logging and auditing as well these things should be there okay so these are very high level test cases i can say but these are really important test cases i i hope you get a sense of what you need to test when you are when you are asked to test the edf pipeline first of all okay so in the next video i will show you one edf pipeline i will show you the test cases how to write what is your plan uh, around it okay and uh, i think that will give you more idea about how to test it right so that's it for this video thank you thanks for watching this video